I'm investing heavily into Pinterest for my site, swimuniversity.com, which is a website where I teach people how to take care of their pools and hot tubs. And the reason I'm investing in Pinterest is because I actually did this a few years ago and it worked out really well for me because none of my competitors were on Pinterest. And what you're looking at now is my analytics for Swim University. This is just for the past seven days. And you can see that Pinterest is my third most, uh, it's, the, it's the third source of traffic and it brings in quite a bit. So in the last week I've had 1,700, uh, it looks like 1,400 new unique users. And if we break that down uh, by the pie chart, we can see that it's roughly, uh, that's a little janky, three and a half percent roughly. And so I'm going to start pinning on Pinterest uh, more frequently this year in an effort to grow uh, the traffic from Pinterest to some university. So if we look at Pinterest, you can see that because I've been pinning for the last, I don't know, however many days, maybe like a week or so, uh, my impressions are up, my saves are up, my link clicks are up, and this is the important number to me because I want to know, uh, are people clicking my pins and going to my website? So again, my goal here is to increase this number. Now, what I'm going to show you is how I'm actually pinning these things, how I'm creating these pins, my entire process for doing this. So if we go to Money Lab, we go to my Pinterest Avalanche Challenge, here's what I'm doing. I am creating 100 plus pins uh, and, and I'm gonna schedule them all using Buffer to increase traffic, affiliate, link clicks, and product sales. And I'm gonna measure all this and document it. I have another video where I showed you how I create the pins using Canva and I'm doing all of my pin design here. Even though I am a graphic designer, I do use Photoshop, Illustrator, XD, all of these programs, but I'm using Canva because I can do this so much faster with Canva than I can even with something like Photoshop or XD. The goal here is to eventually create a process that I can pass off to somebody else on my team who can who can replicate exactly what I'm doing. So I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. And so what I've done is you can see like these are all my most recent pins and I've created a folder here called 100 pins. There's not 100 in here. I've only done 50 since the start of this challenge, but I'm gonna actually schedule one of these pins using Buffer. So I'm gonna show you how I schedule these pins using Buffer, and I'm gonna scroll down to a date when we don't have, March 26, and we're gonna pull up this whole piece here. And I'm just gonna pick uh, the most recent one. So I have this one called Above Ground Pool Decks, and if you wanna see what that looks like, there's what the pin looks like. If we look at, uh, see this, yeah, you can see it there too. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm just gonna pick a time, I'm gonna pick 10 a.m. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna drag over this image, this pin. This is from Canva that I saved to my computer as a PNG file. I'm gonna upload it. And once I do, the first thing I'm gonna change is the board. So this says it's pinning to amazing swimming pools and, and pool deck furniture. Uh, I wanna use a different pin. So this is a, for me, a pool accessory. So I already have that board created in Pinterest and this is obviously taking right from my Pinterest account. Great. And now what I need to do is I need to fill in a description and I need to fill in a source URL. So what I do is I go to Swim University and I'm going to type in decks. And this is just a way for me to quickly find what I'm looking for above ground pool decks. There it is. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that there. And it's going to bring up all these other suggested media that it's actually pulling from the article itself, which I don't want. I've already uploaded this. And then I'm just gonna add a description. So what I do for that is I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna pull up um, a, a sentence or two within here. So it says, take a look at your backyard. Does your above ground pool look lonely out there? Okay, I'm just gonna take this whole paragraph. So I'm gonna copy that, go into buffer, paste that. That's gonna be my description. And I'm just gonna schedule the post. It's gonna be for March 26. And that is it. So I have just scheduled that. So. That's how I'm doing it. I have 100 pins that I have to go through. The other thing that I do is I have this folder on my desktop right now that is uh, to my 100 pins. And these are pins that I'm actually going through. But once I already have them pinned, I have this other folder on Google Drive. It's called pinned. 
And once I've gone through and scheduled that pin in, in buffer, I'm just going to move this over here. And then that way I can go through this and I can, you know, add pins. And once this folder is empty, we'll replenish the folder. I'll schedule them all out and we'll go forth from there. So that's how I'm doing it. If you have any questions about my Pinterest strategy or anything else, you can go to my Pinterest avalanche uh, challenge, which is, which actually highlights my entire strategy for Pinterest with swim university. Um, if you just have any questions about Pinterest, I'm not a Pinterest expert by any means. Uh, I've only been do, I mean, I've been doing using it for many, many years, but I'm not like prolific at Pinterest, but certainly ask, uh, in the comments, maybe somebody else can chime in as well. Who does it, who does Pinterest, um, like me or better. And, Please go to moneylab.co slash Pinterest dash avalanche if you want to see this entire challenge. I'll link to it uh, below. And if you're over at moneylab.co, I highly recommend checking out our products. We have uh, page speed for bloggers, an entire course teaching you how to speed up your WordPress site. We have a WordPress theme that is also very quick. We have SEO for bloggers, which is a course on SEO, the affiliate marketing video course, and my Asana for bloggers course, which helps you manage all of your content, all your blog content. Uh, so again, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them below, visit moneylab.co, and I'll see you in another video.